Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this video, hello cookie, oh my god. This video is gonna be a get to know me video. And I'm gonna be taking the questions, sorry, I'm chewing gum. Um, it's also gonna be uncut because I thought if I'm gonna do a get to know me, I should probably just be like real and authentic. Do you know what I mean? So like no cuts. Also, <laughs> as many of you know, I find editing so hard and it gets boring if it's a really long video um, and just really difficult on the ADHD brain. So yeah, I thought a get to know me video would be a good one to do uncut. Um, so you can see all my brain farts and it can be even more relatable to my audience. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of want to excuse my brain farts and if I have ticks and if da 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 da. Um, usually for every single one of my videos, I need to spit this gum out. <laughs> for every single one of my videos, I will have at least, at least... 200 cuts in the video that means there's at least 200 things that i've cut out of the video <laughs> whether it's me brain farting saying the same thing over and over again to like get it right uh ticks things like that so this video um yeah it's, it's kind of scary the thought of not being able to like fine tune the video to how i want it to like be come across but it's, it suits the purpose of this video. So without further ado, I'm gonna, oh, my hair is annoying me. Uh, I'm going to get to the video. <laughs> this is, oh my God, I'm already like, oh, that's something I should have cut out when I just went, <laughs> okay, anyway, no. Cause I want you guys to get to know me properly. So most of these questions, um are from are they're frequently asked questions <laughs> i'm judging myself so hard in my head and i'm also like oh people aren't gonna like this whatever if people aren't gonna like this they're not the people for me and if you find this too slow then like put it on two times speed or 1.5 okay anyways most of these are frequently asked questions that i get either on tiktok lives on any of my videos and also I put up a little Instagram story thing where I ask people uh, to ask me any questions that they want to know because I'm doing a get to know me type of video on YouTube. So yeah, I'm just going to go through those questions. It's literally like 14 questions, but I talk a lot. So yes. Um, plus there might be like different parts to the questions, you know, what is going on with my hair? Why is there a piece of, oh my God, I'm getting really frustrated. Urgh. Okay, okay, right, let's go. Also, also, if you have any more questions after this video and you want me to do a part two, leave them under this video. If you have a question about me, like something, like you want to get to know something about myself, my character, whatever, um, leave them below. But this is not a, the kind of video where I'll be answering like, specific like OCD questions, ADHD, autism. There is some of that in there, but I will do more videos like specific to that, you know? So I'll do like specific autism video, specific OCD video. But yeah, this is just kind of get to know me. How many times did I say that? How many times did I say that this is a get to know me video? Probably like more than 10 by now. I know, someone count and tell me in the comments. <laughs> I know someone will actually do that. Okay, so number one, thing that people ask, and these are not in order of how many people ask, but a lot of people ask this. Where are you from? I always get this when I'm on live. Um, also, let me know if you want me to do YouTube lives, because I always do TikTok lives, like literally nearly every day, but maybe a YouTube live would be fun. So where are you from? I am originally from Romania. I have Romanian parents, but I live in the UK. I moved to the UK when I was eight years old. Also, oh! There is a, <laughs> there is gonna be some masking up to a certain degree in this video. I'm trying to be unmasked. 
but I'm also thinking, get your point across, talk quickly, so I can't be as relaxed as I want to be because I know that will probably annoy people, but isn't the point of this video to be kind of unmasked? Okay, you know what? I'm going to pace myself. I'm lying. I know I'm not. I <laughs> know I'm not going to. Anyways, it's going to be a tiny bit of masking, but this is like, I guess, more me than the usual videos. Fucking hell, enough of your authenticity talk. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to get through <laughs> these questions. Oh yeah, so I'm from Romania, but I live in England. Uh, and since I moved to England, I've moved around. Uh, I've mainly been in and around London. So yeah. Uh, number two, how old are you? I am 25. Number three, when did you get diagnosed? Now people ask me this about everything. So I'm gonna tell you when I got diagnosed with everything <laughs> so a, a lot of my life i was diagnosed like every year i would be re-diagnosed until a uh, therapist just started saying to me that it's like treatment resistant anxiety and depression because every year i'd keep being like diagnosed with what was it persistent repetitive it is cast on my record as persistent repetitive uh depressive disorder persistent anxiety disorder and then once i actually had to figure out why i was having those persistent anxiety and depressive disorders i you know figured out that i had ocd and adhd and autism and so i went for those diagnoses and i got diagnosed with ocd when i was I'm probably going to get the years wrong, but I think I was 21. Um, and yeah, I wish, I wish all of them were sooner, but I really wish, oh, I really wish I'd nipped the OCD in the butt when I was younger. Is it nipped in the butt or nipped in the bud? I don't know. Are you like nipping a bud, like a bud or a flower or nipping someone in the butt? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Um, so ADHD, I think I was diagnosed when I was 20 and autism, I was diagnosed when I was 24. So it hasn't even been a year. I was diagnosed in February of this year, but I turned 25 in March. So there you go. Uh, number four, this is a more specifically OCD question. And I wrote down my answer because I thought I won't be able to remember and coherently say what I want to say. <laughs> so... What ERP techniques work best for you when you're working through OCD? One of the most useful ERP techniques for me was to say maybe, maybe not to my intrusive thoughts, specifically thoughts that were telling me that I am, I'm a bad person, I am a, you know, thoughts along the lines of POCD and harm OCD, that I'm going to harm someone, that I'm going to do something terrible, um, yeah. The most useful technique would have been to go, yeah, maybe, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. My therapist recommended to me to go, yeah, I am. But that didn't help me as much by saying maybe, maybe not. And also it's the acceptance that comes with that um, exposure in that way and acceptance of the intrusive thoughts. Not necessarily accepting that they might be true. I guess, yeah, sometimes accepting that it might be true. But also, if you're just getting constant, repetitive, intrusive thoughts, accepting that it's not your fault and that they don't actually mean anything about you, they're ego dystonic, meaning they don't line up with your moral and your ethics, but you have OCD, you have a disorder. That means you're going to get these unwanted thoughts. And the more you accept that, the easier it's actually going to be on you. Um, oh, I'm a bit worried because these cats have had fleas and there's a cat sitting on my lap. I didn't even address the cat. He's sitting on my lap and purring, but you can't see him. Uh, maybe let me move this camera a bit lower. You can see his ear. I'll show you him better at the end. Um, okay, next question. This is from Instagram. How do... Oh, sorry, something I forgot to say for the last one is, of course, maybe, maybe not. Acceptance and repeat. 
repeat the cycle no matter how many intuitive thoughts you get and repeat 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 re you're literally by doing this and by repeating it so many times you're basically like rewiring your brain to be not so ocd wired because if you do it once or twice and then you give up no you're not going to rewire that ocd thinking okay uh, but it takes time and recovery is like this like this and like this okay so don't be mad if sometimes you can't but just persevere as much as you can um number five how do you be how do you feel <laughs> how do you deal with people dismissing your ADHD? also if you hear a cat purring it's because the cat is purring and making some weird noises like <laughs> <laughs> he's an old bloke but yeah how do you deal with people dismissing your ADHD because you're good looking whenever I get this type of question I'm like can I even say that are people gonna think that I'm like I'm so pretty I'm good looking but I guess I do fit into a beauty standard so um I <laughs> I always have a hard time answering questions like this because a lot of my life I've been so like very unconfident and probably had a lot of like body dysmorphia and is there facial dysmorphia i don't freaking know but i've just like really not liked the way i look a lot of my life um only now i've like calmed down i'm like i guess i am pretty sometimes and yeah anyways that question is not about that how do i deal with people dismissing my adhd because i'm pretty <laughs> oh god okay answer the question um I find that more, yeah, I find that a lot of people, I guess trolls, trolls in TikTok lives. Oh my God, the other cat is coming over too. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, a lot of trolls. Oh, he just left. Sorry, I'm thinking whether I should start the water fountain. Freak. Uh, like to go, ADHD isn't real. Uh, I mainly get people saying you don't look like you have this about autism and to that I have to say you're just uneducated you're just uneducated there isn't a certain look some people may present more outwardly for example I often present as a stereotypical example of ADHD except for sometimes when I can mask that really well and I'm in a situation where I guess it would help me um the cat the cat but yeah, I get people saying that you're not autistic, you're not a real autistic. And I get that in my comments as well. And to those people, sometimes it really gets to me because it's like, it, this is literally the issue that I've had a lot of my life. Like people didn't pick up on it, one, because my ADHD was overshadowing it. And oh, I'm just worried about the fact that I touch the cats and my, I may have flea eggs going in my hair. Ugh. Anyway, they're dead because I treated them, but okay, what was I saying? What was I saying? This is usually a part that I'd cut out. It's going to take me a bit to remember what I was saying. The question was, okay, so yeah, I get people saying that about autism, especially in my YouTube comments, and it's like, it is a spectrum, it's a spectrum, and I get people saying like, I work with autistic people, which I'm like, I'm thinking of a specific comment here and it's like do you really do you really because then i feel kind of sorry for the autistic people that you work with because you're not educated enough to understand that autism is a spectrum and that it can present in different ways and it really those comments still anger me i haven't got to the point where i'm like completely chill like whatever they're just uneducated because i don't want to let it go because the more people keep living with this mentality the more damage it does to autistic people and other people living with invisible disabilities. And yes, I guess autism sometimes can be a visible disability because some people may not be able to mask as well. Some people's autistic traits may be more like at the forefront. They may stim more constantly and it may be more obvious that they are autistic. But that doesn't make me any less autistic than someone who is more obviously autistic so anyways um i deal with it how do i deal with it it's 
hard sometimes to deal with it. I need to turn on the water fountain for the cat. Just a second, guys. Here you go. Hey, kitty. Oh, shit. Guys, I don't know which one's the water fountain. Guys, guys. So stay with me. Sorry guys that you're getting bite in your face. I just really need to feed this cat some water. Come on, drink. We're having a kitty break. Cat break. Cat break. <laughs> Cat break. Um, this is my setup. <laughs> I tried to get so many likes because Today, I was having a really executive dysfunction -y day and I slept for a lot of the day because I was just not feeling like doing things. Also, I will turn the water fountain back off. Just let this boy have his, his, his share of water. They have two fountains and I turned both of them off for this video. And sorry about the accents. Um, I can't help it sometimes. He really is drinking that down. So just gonna wait for him to finish. You might want to skip ahead. This is this is when you can skip ahead to the next part that I'm talking. <laughs> just gonna have a sip, a sip of coffee because he's still going. Yeah, hello boy. Okay, he's done. He's done. Right, so, yeah, I have a funny setup because I'm, I'm not in my house. Um, I'm cat-sitting, someone's pets. So, anyways, bloody hell, this video's already 17 minutes long. Let's uh, get on to the next stuff. So, I think if I stay on this question, I could talk about it for a half hour. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't deal the best with that stuff. I can get past some of them, but when it's like... Really, really silly, dumb comments. I'm like, are gonna affect other autistic people if the person keeps thinking this way. It's hard for me to like swallow that down. We might get onto why a bit later. Cause I want to change the world. Stop. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Brain fart that I would usually cut out. Okay. Oh, the next one is a bit. Uh, different. This is from my friend <laughs> Rihanna. And hi, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, when did you know you were bi? Um, I knew I was, I, I didn't. Also, I don't necessarily identify, talk normally. Yeah, I don't identify with bi that much. I, def I identify more as pan. If someone would ask me like what I was, I would say I am pansexual. Um, because I just like the person, not so much the gender or the bits they have. It's more about the person and their like energy and their demeanor and yeah. Um, mom, mom, mom. when, when, um, but also I do say bye to people that I think don't know that much about the LGBTQ plus. Blah, 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 blah. If I think there's someone that's not very clued up on it, I'm just like, I'm bi, because most people, most people have heard of bi. Um, but that's a difficult question to answer because I started like questioning my sexuality when I was 14. That's when this questioning started. Then I got OCD about it. Um, and I spent about six years from then, uh, I kept having OCD about it and couldn't like decide what I am because if you've, If you've had HOCD, which is OCD about your sexuality, you will know how you just constantly doubting yourself 24 seven. Um, so the HOCD, I guess I knew I was for Rudy for a few years, but I kept circling back to like, no, I'm lying. I'm actually straight. No, I'm gay gay. No. Da -da -da -da. So I kept bouncing back and forth, but I thought there's, you know, I am fruity in some way. I'm not like straight, straight. I always, I, I think I knew that. I think 
since I was 14, but you know, the OCD was making it difficult to figure out. Then when I was like 20, 21, 20, 21, um, I was like, yep, yeah, gay, just because of this one experience I had in the lesbian bar. And I was like, yep, confirmed it. <laughs> Not that I hadn't had experiences with women before, but um, I mean, I hadn't had much experience with men or women, to be fair. Um, like, most people know, most people, what the fuck, most people from where? I mean, a lot of people know, like, if they watch my videos constantly, I guess, and they look at my lives, you'll know that I'm in the first relationship of my whole life, now at 25. And yeah, we started dating, like when I was 24 and I never dated anyone before then. So yeah, it was more more of a poign, poignant, is that how you say the word? Poignant experience when I was 20 in this lesbian bar. And I went, oh yes, yes, yes. I am indeed gay, queer, as you'd like to call it. Um, and for those wondering, I am in a relationship with a man, but I still call myself queer pan as i said because queer is like an umbrella term okay next see we've only got through a few questions and i'm it's just 21 minutes i'm gonna try to get a move on and say it quicker uh talk quicker favorite song ever this is really hard okay um there was this one song that i was obsessed with for a very very long time and it's called going down in flames by a band called three doors down dan <laughs> three doors down and then after I finished all the questions, I wrote out a bunch of songs that I liked that are in different genres because I listen to so many different genres that I couldn't say like, this is my favorite song ever, 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 because I have so many favorite songs in different genres. As you can see, I've sped up the pace of my speaking to uh, not along this video out so much. Okay, so here's some songs from different genres that I like. Uh, K-pop, I like, I'd say one of my, one of my favorite songs from K-pop is K-Will, Please Don't. The artist's name is K-Will. Next we have Afrobeats. We've got Bayani. Ta, ta, ta. Next we have Musical Theatre. I didn't write one. I just wrote Musical Theatre and then I didn't write one. That's great. It'll probably be something from Hamilton. It'll probably be... Um, oh, all it takes to survive You and your words blooded my senses That one burn but not burn i like another one more i like something more than burn ah something from hamilton <sighs> well, and there's my little bit of singing because my friend also said <laughs> in my instagram uh comments are like uh sing a song if you sing a tune if you know a tune <laughs> anyway um then we have more like metal rock waken the demon bullet for my valentine that was one of my favorite songs ever, ever for a long time. So that that's a good one to get to know me. Um, then we have more like poppy songs. Uh, we have Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. A classic was like my favorite song since I was like six years old in the pop genre. Um, I even sung it for a musical theater audition because I was silly and I didn't know what was appropriate to sing. So I sung Hit Me Baby One More Time when I was 11 years old auditioning for a musical theatre school and I also did a little jig to it I was like my loneliness is killing me and I was walking forward and at the end when I said hit me baby one more time I literally hit my leg and I was like hit me baby one more time so that's embarrassing um oh right now my stim song is my song that I have on repeat is it's only right by Deja and it's an artist I found on TikTok uh, then in the Vocaloid genre, we have Egoist by Parsley Onuma. <laughs> then in the country genre, <laughs> people probably don't care to know all of this, but I'm just going to tell you guys in case your special interest is music or you really, you really, really like music and you want recommendations. Uh, country genre is I Remember Everything by Casey Musgraves and Zach Bryan. I also really like Morgan Wallen. Uh, a song called You Proof. I need something you proof. It's really good. Sounds better than I just did it. Also, uh, wish that I could put this. Oh, Simple Times by Casey Musgraves. <laughs> Musgraves. Okay, anyway, that's that's enough. I probably have more songs, but moving on. Um, How's your mental health been? 
I think my mental health has been like better than usual, better than the past six years because I've pretty much recovered from OCD. I get flare ups like every now and then, but my OCD is in remission. So a lot better than the last loads, a lot of years, not <laughs> really. Um, out of a 10, I'd say my mental health generally like what in the past month has been probably like a seven seven that's pretty good for me um number nine how long have you been dancing um so for those of you that don't know i well i was a dancer i started dance when i was like five six and i started with ballet then i moved to england and i was doing like saturday school so i wasn't doing it too regularly until i was like 15 then when i was 16 i went to a full-time musical theater school um and yeah i'd done by the time i'd gone to the musical theater school i'd done like ballet and jazz and a bit of street but it wasn't really proper street then at the theater school i yeah i did commercial i did in commercial still did like ballet jazz uh a little bit of street then when i went to um one of my universities I did also a year of tap, but didn't I do some more tap? I feel like I did two years of tap. Oh, I think I did a bit of, I did a bit of tap in year seven. I did one year, sorry, in year seven, I went to this musical theatre school called Sylvia Young Theatre School, which Amy Winehouse went to, by the way. I had her dictionary in my class and I saw her signature. I was like, oh my God, it's Amy Winehouse's dictionary. And I, my mentor was actually um, Amy Winehouse's goddaughter. She was my mentor. And she wasn't that nice to me. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> a little, maybe because I was autistic and she thought I was freaking weird. And she would talk to like my friends more than me. And I just thought, why? Why, babe? I'm already feeling left out. Um, but anyways, I guess she she's, I don't know, her personally. <laughs> She was like in year 11 and I was in year 7. So anyway, moving on. Freaking hell. Um, I answered more than that. Oh yeah, sorry. And then I also danced in one of my unis. Uh, I guess I don't really know how many years. I've been dancing a long time, but I stopped dancing when I was like 20, 22. Is that when I dropped out of uni? If you guys can figure out when I dropped out of uni, because I don't really remember. 22, 23, I think. <laughs> um okay ah favorite film my favorite film is all the bright places easy we're getting to the end of these questions number 11 is not a question but my partner boyfriend said to my ask box he said got your nose which is a joke that we do on each other uh, <laughs> cringy couples time uh, but i think it's really funny and i started doing it and i started saying it like this like this nose so i go like this and i go got your nose <laughs> and i find it really funny so okay carrying on what's your job i get this question a lot people ask me what do you work what's your job guys I am self-employed. I do not work a nine to five job because I cannot find a nine to five job that is suitable and accommodating to my needs as an autistic and ADHD person. And the struggles that come with that, I have had nine to five jobs before. I have, um, but I haven't lasted in them. And I very frequently would hop, uh, hop from job to job because that's what happens when you have ADHD a lot of the time. But anyways, uh, my job is pretty much social media and I'm really trying to make it work. I'm really trying to make it work. I'm doing my best. So like this video, subscribe if you like my videos. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your dream? I get this question a lot and it's like, what do you mean? I guess a lot of people mean this in the way of like career. What's your dream career? And my dream career wise is acting. If you didn't know already from all the times that I've said it, but if you're new, then you wouldn't know. So can you tell like my, my ability to express in my voice has kind of died. <clears throat> so yeah, sorry about that. Um, but as I like to say to some people who ask about help, 
autism affects me and what I want people to know, I want people especially to uh, know to listen to my words and not necessarily to the way I say my words um, because yeah I think that's something a lot of people mm, fuck I think that's something a lot of autistic people want uh, holistics to know and the people around them to know that more importantly than my tone and how I express the words the words that I say are more important than that stuff so excuse me if I've gone like a bit more flat <laughs> um okay so yeah I, I'm still passionate about what I'm talking about so yeah my biggest passion is well my dream is acting and I guess my dream roles I don't know if I have a dream role I love to act in something so for example I said my favorite film is All the Bright Places and it's my favorite because I really relate to the main character um, even though the main character I don't think is autistic, he could have ADHD alongside the, I think it's bipolar that he has, um, but I just, I just relate to him and the, the extent to which he feels his feelings, he feels his feelings very strongly and I'm someone that feels her feelings very strongly as well. Um, so to play something like that, something that means something to me, to do with mental health to represent ocd oh my god i would love to represent ocd like just write ocd pocd harm ocd that would be amazing but i'd also i want to be like a malleable actor okay i also want to showcase like my comedic side so something jim carrey-ish because i feel like i'm pretty good at impressions and i'm <laughs> being funny you know <laughs> it's always when you say when you say that type of stuff that you're like, I sound really stupid right now because I'm like, I'm funny, trust me. <laughs> but it's like, I think I'd be good at comedy stuff, okay? Um, so, yeah. And I've, I've always, a, a lot of the time, not always, a lot of the time I, I had this like clown, class clown role and like joker of the group when I did have like a friend group well, so yeah. Um, but I'd also, apart from the comedy and the serious acting, I'd also love to do something action like Black Widow. Can you imagine me as a Black Widow? Yes, because I can imagine myself. So yeah, something like that would also be cool. <laughs> um, okay, and then my dream more like wider than just like career is what I want to do, right, with my career. I want to excel. I want to excel in that and I know I can, okay? I've always believed in myself. It might take me a while to get there, but I know I'll get there. Um, I want to be rich, guys. Not like rich, 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 but I want to have a lot of money. And the reason I want to have a lot of money and I want to get like, you know, kind of big in the acting world. And I think I can. I think I can. I believe in myself. You might call me a delusional, but I just, I don't know. I've always had a feeling. Um, and if it's a delusion, then... Well, it's good because I feel good about it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the reason I want to I want to gain an audience, I've always wanted to gain an audience, and I have managed to gain like quite a bit of an audience. For example, on TikTok, especially, and here on YouTube, but more so with acting in the future because I want to speak up about things like I do right now. But I want to speak up to a bigger, even bigger amount of people because I want to make a positive difference in the world I've always I've always wanted to do that uh, I've always had this thing inside me that I'm like oh, I want to change the world in a good way you know and I want to have loads of money so I can do good things with it like not a lot of rich people do um and I want to influence other people to do good things with their money I would love to be able to like go go to Romania like go to my home country and help and help out even in in a smaller scale like in my country i'd love to help out on like um loneliness problems there's a lot of lonely old people in romania i'd love to help out in like the law side of things and get like lgbtq plus and equality and women's right get women's rights get those up to par because they're not really up to par in 
our country and just yeah i want to want to make a difference in in that way um oh and then another one of my things that i really want in my life i guess my dream is to have cats i really want at least three cats in my lifetime i love cats okay um oh my god is that the last question i think that was the last question what have i done it i've done it Oh, and I don't think I've I've ticked that much. I'm very good at suppressing my ticks, but if I do a live one time on here, you'll you'll see them come out. Um, it's also something that I'm like most embarrassed about. I'm like more embarrassed about like having ticks and like people seeing them than I am about unmasking autism, ADHD. But yeah, that's just I guess another little fact about me. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just saw myself and I was like, no, it does not look very cute. So it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. If you watched all the way through, I literally love you. I love you. Um, thanks. I was going to say thanks for watching again. Usually when I finish videos, I have to cut out me saying thank you for watching this video like seven times because I don't know why I just repeat it a lot of times. But anyways, also, I would like to mention, please, um, if you've seen my last video or the video before, or if you haven't, I'm just going to mention it here. So I am doing a fundraiser for my little sister to get an ADHD diagnosis. A bunch of people have already donated and I am so thankful if you're one of the people that has donated and if you're that person that donated twice, you know who you are. What the hell? Like, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, like, it, it means so much. I cannot even express that. Like, I'm really, really thankful and it's literally going to change my sister's life, like, getting this diagnosis. I know a lot of people... Don't take ADHD that seriously, but honestly, I'm going to say it here and I'm always going to say it. I think ADHD can affect someone just as much as autism can, okay? In, in different ways, obviously, because they are different conditions, but my ADHD affects me a lot and has hindered me a lot in my life. And I know that it is just so freaking hard because to a lot of people on the outside, especially to people that don't understand ADHD, it looks like personal failures it looks like you're not trying hard enough and i'm so i'm so sick of it like being seen like that and anyways anyways this is not time to rant about adhd but yeah if you know anyone that could donate uh to her fundraiser i'll put it down below just so you know you can't donate less than five pounds on, on gofundme and i do not expect people who like aren't in a good financial pit position to donate because i'm barely ever in a good financial position um so i'm very understanding of that but yeah if you could share this with anyone that you know might be able to i'll be so thankful and she would be so thankful um i'm trying to get her to get her diagnosis before her gcse so she can have the accommodations she deserves and the extra time so she doesn't have to go through the the shit that I went through in high school, um, so, and uni, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching this video, uh, let me know any more questions that you want me to answer, maybe in another video, um, and yeah, have a good day, bye!